So good. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mm. Hey guys, I'm Henry. I'm Ian. And we are Boss, and this is Fun for Louis. Hello. How cool is that? We've got Fun for Louis in the Boss kitchen. We're gonna cook you some vegan meat. This is vegan chicken wings from our Boss cookbook. So first off, we're gonna make a dry mix. Vital wheat gluten, nutritional yeast. That's gonna be thyme. Thyme, that's garlic powder. A Little bit of onion powder here, sage and some cumin. Give that a stir. Now that's well combined, let's make our wet mix. First off, this is veg stock, apple cider vinegar, and some oil. Look at that, nice and easy. All we need to do is combine those two together in one bowl and give it a bit of a stir. So this is combined perfectly now. Yeah. We're gonna actually put it here and beat the living daylights out. So just just slap it on there? Or? So if I pop some flour down there, slap it on and take out some frustration. What you're doing here by punching it is you're activating the gluten and start to firm up. And how do you know when it's done? It's gonna become firmer and less spongy. I feel like we might be hitting a good place here. I'm just wondering whether it's still like a little bit sticky in the middle. Give it another two minutes of beating, tiny bit more flour, maybe a little bit of a fold as well. I'm bad at multitasking, a bit like <laughs> chatting, but I'm just like forgetting what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, My so uncle was a baker. Yeah. I remember watching him kneading dough when I was a kid. So you can chop that in half, then a quarter, and then another half, and then you'll get lots of little bites. So next step, we're going to steam these okay. for about 45 minutes. Shall I just chuck them all on there? Pop them all on there. They are going to expand, so you might need to give it a jiggle about halfway through to make sure they don't stick. Perfect. And there's a little lid here. Little lid. And now that is going to steam for 45 minutes. So here we have our seitan bites. Can you see how much they've swelled up? and now they have exactly the consistency we're looking for for our chicken. So now we're gonna make them taste really good and give them a gorgeous coating. give that a little squidge. Yeah, give that a squidge. All right. So now we're gonna make a vegan buttermilk. We have oat milk uh -huh. and a little bit of coconut yogurt. I'm gonna squeeze these, four, these two lemons in and just catch the pips in my hand. I mean, can you see it's, it's thicker now? Yeah, and it doesn't seem to be any lumps. I think I've got the lumps You've got out. the lumps out. We're gonna add a pinch of salt just to help bring those flavors out. We're gonna start to make a dry mix. That is some flour. So that is cayenne pepper, some smoked paprika. Yeah, go for it. That's garlic powder, some black pepper. So if you wanna stir that all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That looks perfect. Cool. Let's add some salt in there as well, just to help bring that flavor out. Always taste as you go. That would be our top tip, you know. Yeah. First things, we're gonna pop that chicken into this buttermilk for a couple of minutes while you get your oil hot. Be careful if you're doing this at home because deep frying is very dangerous. You wanna get this oil to about 180 degrees. We're using a thermometer, but if you prefer, you can just dip the end of a wooden spoon in, and if it sizzles or bubbles, then that means the oil is ready. See those little bubbles? So I chuck this in there. Chuck that in there and cover it in that gorgeous breading. This is the all important part. We're gonna go for a double dip. Right. So one layer of gorgeous coating is not enough. We wanna dip back in the buttermilk and then back in the flour. Just dip in it? Yeah, dip and then back in there. Pop right. those little badgers into the oil. Just Go. chuck them in? Yeah. All right, let me get them all together. When you are putting them in, just be really careful not to splash any hot oil back at you. Whee! Woo! That was quite splashy. We'll just use a slotted spoon to keep an eye on them. Look, already, you can see, if you look at that, they're starting to uh, oh. become amazingly chickeny. They do look like chicken nuggets. You're in for such a treat. Honestly, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> right, let's check out this chicken. This is looking good. Right, Louis, doesn't that look good? Unreal. These Unreal. are our vegan chicken wings. I would never have guessed. Like, these ones legit look like they're straight out of like a KFC. Oh, incredible, eh? <laughs> so the last step, which we always like to do with a Bosch video, is yeah. just to make them look really sexy. They sprinkling. already look pretty sexy I mean, to me, but okay. <laughs> do you want to do the honors? Yeah, sure. Just sprinkle out some over the top. From nice and high up, so. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, and then some chili flakes. Yeah. I'm a big fan of chili flakes. It's the moment of truth. Can I get the chunkiest, yes. most Take the crispy biggest one. one. I reckon it's this one That's the, top. the best one for sure. Well, I'm gonna dip in. Is this just ketchup and barbecue? Yeah. Or what? We recommend the barbecue sauce. Give me a little dip in there. Definitely the one. Ready? Yeah. Give me a little cheers. Cheers. 
Mm. Mm. So good. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mm. That crispy coating is so nice. It's just bursting with flavor. Mm. Absolutely mad. There you have it. That's our gorgeous chicken wings. Next up, we're going to be cooking with Louis on his food channel, Food for Louis. We're going to yeah. make you a seitan steak. I am so excited. So head over to his channel and go check it out. Bish. Bash. Bosh. Bosh.